Welcome to this week's Research Supports Future Growth. Today's topic is on long-term fertility programs in corn and soybeans. This experiment was established six years ago to address some of the main questions we get. First, can our low-rate, high-efficiency products sustain yield year after year? And second, can it do this without injuring or mining nutrients from the soil? Let's take a look at how this experiment was established. This is the sixth season for this experiment, made up of two side-by-side -side field locations in a corn-soybean rotation. We developed the fertilizer program at the start with a yield goal of 175 bushel corn and 60 bushel soybeans. Utilizing GPS technology with RTK correction, each treatment stays in the same location of the field. This allows us to monitor continuous yield and changes in soil test values over time. Comparisons were made with three fertilizer programs to a nitrogen-only check. First, we have a conventional dry fertilizer program. Second, a dry liquid combination and finally, the complete agro-liquid program. Looking at the yield results on corn, all fertilizer treatments yielded higher than the nitrogen-only check. The agro-liquid produced the highest yield for a six-year average of 203 bushels per acre, where the two conventional treatments yielded right around 199 bushels per acre each. For the soybeans, there was two agro-liquid programs, a planter and a foliar application. These treatments continue to yield similar to each other with a six-year average of right around 77 bushels per acre. The conventional treatment here yielded slightly lower at 72 bushel per acre. This shows that agro-liquid products can sustain yield year after year. But what does this do to the soil test? Fall 2016 samples show that there's little to no change in phosphorus and potassium levels from the start of this experiment and no significant difference between treatments themselves. So in conclusion, agro-liquid continues to offer top yields while maintaining soil test levels. For more information on this project and others, check out our website at agroliquid.com.